however the amount of money we can give as philanthropists, we can just about move the needle. Look, the, the, the GDP of the African countries is like one and a half trillion dollars. Okay? So, how much philanthropists can give to Africa? What we think is really important, let's focus on this one and a half trillion dollars. What those people are doing with it? How much of this money is stolen? Okay? How, what sort of hanky-banky taking place? And, and what kind of policies? Uh, do you have peace? If you have conflicts, armed conflicts, how can you have development? Any development in Darfur? Any development in South Sudan? You don't have. Because of the fighting, the killing, the, 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 the crimes committing there every, committed there every day. Uh, and it's strange. It's the poor destroying their environment and destroying their communities. These things had to be resolved. So I really think the priority, and, and that's my personal view, uh, is really is governance and institutions. If we have gov good governance and institutions, there is no need for charity. There's no need for, for, for philanthropy because Africa is a rich continent. We are a very rich continent, but we are very poor people. And then you ask why?